a there a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now the renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially hugely appreciate that my friends enjoy the show and uh, welcome back tonight i'm suffering let's suffer together back in the cauldron my friends and today spoilers for a lot of noia right of course we're here in big spoiler but you know if you've saw the title of the video then let me just preface this i'm excited about this i'm biased hear me out and i want to see if you're interested in, in this as well because i stumbled upon something today that i have never heard of and i just found it really odd it's gonna be a little bit of context a little bit of explaining merry christmas by the way it's just turned 1am here so on christmas day so we've got our little santa heesy down there i was on stream today right my only job was to get this santa heesy into the cauldron that was it and funnily enough we ended up with two different bespoke and unique ones right this is the skull wand that you get from the vault this is what you what people refer to as the broomstick wand that you also get from the vault if you will allow me to show you the puzzle in which you get it from in the fourth floor you have to pour one of two liquids in here apparently you have a 70 percent chance to get the skull wand you have a 30 percent chance to get the broom wand right now the skull wand is just cool it looks pretty metal right yay however the other wand that you have less of a chance to get by the way which i've always found interesting now i've got again a bit of context i believe that i reset my save file right and our good friend prisket has done some good work on this that when you start a new save file the very first run of that save file always feels very different compared to any other run we're talking about rng and again i've got like six thousand hours in the game prescript has got many thousands of hours as well and you just get a feeling for the rng right and first runs on save files feel weird and i was on a new save file run today and it's kind of weird that i just managed to magically spec into this now to understand a little bit about the cauldron where is it come on get back <laughs> we need you there we go this is the cauldron you can find it if you're not running any mods in the game it's one of the two remaining secrets of the game you've got the eye puzzle which we've talked about before you might have remembered last january where we got took on a right little roller coaster ride people thinking they solved it or at least you know we're working towards solving it and then it turned out to be nothing but the cauldron on the other hand we kind of have no information about it now hopefully i might change that today but we'll see right because it's all about this broomstick wand. Now, you might know this broomstick wand. I'm going to show you what it's meant to do to the cauldron. With our friend Fury Forged, who did an amazing video on this back in the day. Let me have a gander. There we are. So, this is Fury with the vault puzzle structure and unique ones video he put out two years ago. Now, he's going to pull out the broomstick wand have a look at the effect it does and happens i've also taken it to the cauldron room so it cleans it terrain the most startling effect it Looking reverts it detail on the structure as if it were paint and it's destroying it underneath. right it also removes the darkening effect on the sand of the room revealing it to be just ordinary sand probably if you discover any secrets and it does it on the terrain as well let us know in the so look at that below. it the cauldron is just EDR, but it has a load of ruins around the side. It's made of a different material. If you use the broomstick wand in quite a few different places, it changes the look sometimes to the older um, graphics that we used, sometimes just to its basic elements. Like EDR is extremely, extremely dense rock, and that's what the cauldron is made of, so it reverts to extremely dense rock. That's destroying it, right? That's removing something from it. Now, if we go back... Yeah, it's gone again. Hey, <laughs> stream loud, so you're exceptional. Now, my wand doesn't do that. Now, I found this highly interesting because if you know, just pay very close attention to the tip. You will see with a drill, you are meant to char terrain. 
it is still removing the soot, the charring that's meant to happen. You can kind of see the black around the edges. It's quickly removing it, but it's not removing the terrain. Actually, of anywhere I tried, like anywhere around here, it didn't do it as well. You can see little particles come off. And if I go to, it's still working. If I put myself deep in liquid, you can still see the circle outline of this one. So it's still working. It's working in a different way, though. Now, what I stumbled upon, I believe, was a connection between this wand and the cauldron. Let me give you a bit more context by going back and finding my seed tool. There we are. So this is my seed for the day. You may be aware that on certain days in the cauldron, there are void days. There is void liquid in the game. It's a very destructive liquid, very dense and destructive. It really messes with terrain. So the first two shifts, you can kind of ignore. Silver, brass, and copper, we turn to vomit. Not really that much change. Uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, nothing to connect to the wand or the cauldron. I think we'd agree. And then I did a worm blood to worm blood. So if you see this potion here, it means I don't need to turn worm blood to toxic sludge on the fungal shift. It means I can turn worm blood to any potion. I got some worm blood. I turned freezing liquid and worm blood to worm blood. Again, not affecting the cauldron, not affecting the wand. I think we'd all agree, right? But then, because it was a void day, I turned the potion to vomit. I can make void liquid relatively easy. We've done a video on it in the past. We just made a mountain of void liquid, collected it, and then removed void liquid from the game. That's all I've done, really, to dramatically change anything. It, and it allowed me access to the cauldron. I needed to do that. And this is the first time I've had this wand, right? This is the first time I've ever had this wand. So I was really happy to find it, you know, to give it a good use. And then it just wasn't working, right? Or is it? Because I believe this wand uses void liquid mechanics of some variety. I don't, again, this is kind of throwing out a theory and hoping the wider community can see the connection I'm trying to draw and help me along with this because I'm not stuck. It's just that. I found this on stream a few hours ago. I wanted to come to the community with it. The, it's meant to be cleaning, and it's not. The only change I've made is removing void liquid. The wand has a connection to void liquid. The cauldron has a connection to void liquid. Ergo, this is possibly the only clue, potentially, towards the cauldron and a connection we can find. There is nothing else apart from this, in my opinion. And it still works. Again, you can see it's stirring, right? So when Fury before was going across, this, this, I'd say destroying the lovely artwork, destroying everything, maybe the wand is too powerful or too connected to void liquid. Like the cauldron is connected to void liquid, we can't enter. If the wand, if the void liquid is still in the world, the wand is more powerful or more destructive and has a effect on the world that doesn't allow us to get its actual real potential. We remove void liquid from the world. We can en enter the cauldron and we can use this wand to stir. It's a cauldron, you know? It, I wouldn't say it's a stirring... It's a, it potentially... A, the one theory is it's a stirring wand that allows you to stir without destruction. Again, it allows us to maintain, and it's... Hopefully, that's roughly enough to kind of give you a feel for what I'm talking about. I think I've covered everything. When it comes to stuff like... Uh, if I shifted void liquid to vomit, right? I... <laughs> I would theorize, for now anyway, I don't think it matters what you change void liquid into. My theory is that void liquid is gone. That's enough. So if I was to change void liquid into berserk, for instance, or invisibility, it wouldn't have any 
manifest change that would affect this connection or its potential towards being a hint towards something further you know what we need to do now is the only solid connection with the cauldron is to think beyond this and again as it is a cauldron it's it's stirring right it's a way of stirring the cauldron maybe or something else beyond because many things have been tried in the cauldron but did they try it with this wand without void liquid in the game? You know what I mean? This wand is quite rare. I, I don't know. It's one of those people are going to have to give me some feedback on them. You know, one, if this is known by anyone. Two, it, what's been done on it already, if anything. And three, hey, try something, you know? Again, I, I can work on this, but I'm just one person. This is why I've come to the community to see, you know, for ideas, for potential participation in a more wide-ranging exploitation to try and get this here cauldron done once and for all. Because when it comes to the cauldron and the eyes, I'm a cauldron guy, 100, you know, 100%. I, the cauldron is my thing. And I'm super glad I finally made at least some semblance of a connection that I can work on. Even if it's actually a dead end, it just feels like something that hasn't been covered. So I'm bringing this to you today with the hope that we can do something. You know, bringing in the new year 2024 with a solid lead. Something to go at 100% and kick some ass with, guys, you know. Hey, it's been a long journey, me and you guys here in Noita. First time picking up this wand, by the way, in 6,000 hours of gaming on this uh, here game. I've never really concentrated on this wand. <laughs> and all I wanted to do today, right, was to get that dude here. That's it. And to stumble into something like this on, like, on Christmas Eve, leading into Christmas. Hey, it feels like a little bit of a Christmas miracle, but that might be taking it a bit too far. Anyway, let me know what you think. I've been Supper of Let's Supper Together. If you enjoy what we do here, we stream live over at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Supper Together, where we, you know, found this today on a, an amazing run. Again, getting that little dude here, that little Santa Hisi into the cauldron, great run. But we kind, we didn't abandon that. We obviously got him here, but halfway through the run, we kind of found this wand, and then because we shifted the Void Liquid quite early, we just kind of figured it out quite soon and then the rest of this room was just theorizing but also you can help out the channel and what we do by you know continuing to enjoy the videos on the playlists and uh in the description we have a discord where you can join where all the renegades hang out best place to get hold of me while i'm offline and again we're on ko-fi Co Co for you know any any monetary support and normally a one-off because you can click the join button down below if you want to on a monthly basis support what we do like the people's names you saw at the start of the video. And, uh, yeah. I'll be off. It's Christmas. I'm going to enjoy it. I'll be live tomorrow, actually, because I want to get into this, you know? Have some good Christmas dinner. I hope you have an excellent holiday season, wherever you are in the world. Oh, I'm bringing in a new year. I hope you have a fantastic one. I hope you make the most out of it. Take some time for yourself. Treat yourself right. Seriously, you know? Hey, you need to care about other people, but care about yourself as well, right? I'll catch up with you soon, guys. You take it easy. And again, any ideas, again, connected to this, let me know. I'm interested in all ideas. So I can... I'm, I'm kind of clouded at the moment just by the general idea of the connection. So I need some galvanization of theorization to get me in the mood for taking this elsewhere, right? But I'll see you soon, guys. You take it easy. Much love. Peace. Hey, but a big thank you to the Pounders, the other selection of people who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially on a monthly basis. Again, thank you so much, guys. Your help with what we do here continues to happen, and uh, I love you for it. Thank you. See you later, guys. Peace.